Welcome back everybody, it's everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. We're going to play Green Country Club at the Outward 9. Long tees, teeny cups, because I've not actually played this setup. So, we're going to use the big clubs, because why not? I've been playing with the um, standard clubs the last couple of days, because I've been practicing and playing the qualifier of the EG Cup. So, nice to get the, um, the big clubs out. See if we can remember how to use them and see if we can um, find some fairways and greens. Oh, go on, if that chases up, it'd be a good shot. There you go. Ooh, might have ended up the back, maybe. Uh, it's going to end up on the green, but a long way away. 431. Whoa, that's a big drive. Brakes to the right. Going to break a bit. Oh, hard to judge this. Go on! That's an absolute beast of a putt. Six, I think that's my longest of a putt, I don't know. 64.6 though. That is a beast of a putt. Hold two. It's a par five. I actually don't care what happens on the rest of this round now. That putt was worth it. Okay. Oh, the wind's against me here, so I might just have to just play a little bit more conservatively. I know, you think what's wrong with him? Masterful. I don't want this to run out to the right, so I've got backspin on it. No, it's still going to run out. They hit it far too hard. So 142 to go. All manner of hazards in the way. Oh. Uh, what I should do is play out somewhere here. That's what I should do. Yeah, how much further up can I get? Let's play to about here. Just make sure we don't hit that sign. Oh, neat shot! Yeah, on the fairway. Okay. 50 to go. Which way is that going? It's going to gather the other way. The wind's going to take it left to right. So it's about a three-quarter shot, isn't it? Champion! What? Well, not bad. Gives us a good birdie cut. That's just what we kind of wanted. So we'll go right edge and a little bit firm. And with a bit of luck, that'll drop. Ah! Just went the other way. Ridiculous. I don't know what happened there. Well done. So, take the part. But we started with an eagle, so I can cope with it. And we've never played this, obviously, before, so we've got no, we've got no indicators. So three, a lot of crosswind on this. Going to be a six iron, so it's not going to kick it that much. Always hard to judge these crosswind longer iron shots. With the kind of nine iron and stuff, you sort of know how far it's going to go across, but how much does it take off them is the question. That's all right. It's a 16 foot for a birdie. Oh, that's a tough part, isn't it? Sloping downhill to the left. I suspect it will miss low. Yeah. Deep breath. Another par, another par. Just leaving them far too far away, aren't I? Even par, eh? <laughs> We've made two inside two foot on one at 65 feet. Yeah. par four. Now, can I get to four? Oh, I can, and the wind will help me here. I mean, it's still a driver. All right, we're going to go for the um, ultra side spin. And this is going to come like a bloody tornado through the trees. We need a bit of luck. Ah, not quite. It's going to roll down that hill. Look at the gauge closely. It's a 40 to go. Oh, neat shot. Good, good. Oh, not bad considering. Chance for a birdie. Come on. Easy now. That's 
Sooner or later, I'm going to take something under 60 feet. There you cool. go. Yeah. Take it. Three under. Teeny cups. It's a five. Now, again, the wind's going to help me here. Question is how much? Is this where we end up in the sand? Ah, I didn't apply the spin. So this is all about that bounce. Ooh, just grip, there you go. So we got a chip. Like I said, though, it's a 65 footer. I'm not that bothered. Oh, it's not bad. So, four under after five. Oh, you're good. It's a par four. So, this is a pure crosswind hole. And this is all about getting old bit. Missed it again. Keep missing that top spin. Wow, the wind really gets hold of it. It's going to get on though, which is good. Okay, this is a monster pot. That's only 55 foot. It's pretty flat actually. Alright. How's me luck on this one? It's probably low and short. Oh, Sped up at the end. It was low side day. Goal for the birdie. It's a five foot back for the birdie. There we go. Oh, God, all right, all right, all right. Nice birdie. Just six under. Oh, seven. It's a par three. Not a terrible par three. A fair bit of wind, so we're gonna need a bit of club on it. Far too much power, right? Right, I wasn't even coming down when it passed the pin, I don't think. Roll with it. So we've got a 22 footer. Roll for the birdie. Oh, this is a makeable putt, it's isn't it? Sloping downhill. Breaking to the right. Ah. Missing the impact doesn't really help me. Yeah. Oh, how could this? I actually don't think the read was right anyway. It didn't break nearly Easy as enough. much as I felt it should. Even so I might have missed that from 10 foot. Still at 5 under. So 4 5 to finish. And the wind will help me a bit here. Again, try and get a bit of. Ultra spin. Oh, I just got standard size. Oh, spin neat on it. Shot. Great shot. Nice shot. Should land on the little bit of fairway. And will it chase? Just got to the fringe. You the it's a chip time. Good, good. Oh, just a bit short. Chance for a birdie. Got an easiest birdie part though. Okay. Six under. One left. Par five to finish. Last one. Ball nine. It's a par five. Oh, look at that. It's downwind, but there's absolutely no way you're going to get it over there. So I need to be super careful I don't end up in the water. Should be okay. It'll chase up a bit, but should end up on that bit of fairway. Okay, so 135 to go. We're downwind. Sort of a tail cross with nine iron in there. 
miss the ultra backspin. Must have hold. Steady. I land on the green, bounce up a bit. That's not bad. Seven footer. Let the eagle slip for the eagle. Oh, cross the grain there. You can do it. I just want to yank the string on this one, and then in you go. There you go. That's a good finish. So we got to eight under in the end. Missed a few shots. I mean, those those two putts on two and three were frustrating. Um, I mean, in seven, I just left myself too much to do, didn't I? But I think it's not a bad score. Stats-wise, this is my longest official putt. Yeah, there you go. So I set myself a new record there. I wasn't far off my longest drive at 4.31, which I think was the same hole, wasn't it? Um, hit every green, which I think I'd expect with the custom clubs. Um, missed a few fairways, though. Not a bad round. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Please leave me a comment and I'll see you next time for a bit more of everybody's gold.